What is up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joking John City Four, and today I'll be showing you guys my top three SMGs of Black Ops Three. At number three, we got ourselves the Weevil SMG. Now, this SMG I mostly use it when it comes down to big maps and also long distance battles because it does have some consistency when it comes down to range. And the biggest problem that I have with this weapon though is the damage and also when it comes down to short range because it does not have a good amount of rapid fire to take out enemies from short range. You gotta really aim and you gotta freaking you know hope for the first shot because this weapon does not bother with short range. Sometimes it's very bipolar and it will fail at you for um, you know for a good amount of time. I don't know why it does that from short range, but when it comes down to medium range and long range, this weapon is gonna be perfect for you, and that's why I use this weapon on big maps and everything. And um, I have called in several kill streaks with it. So, and also the amount of times I use this weapon is probably like an average amount of time. It's not that much consistent uh, when it comes down to usage, but um. You know, I rarely, you know, use it when it comes down to uh, small maps. But when it comes down to big maps, I, I pretty much go with a Weevil. At number two, we got ourselves the VMP. Now, this SMG has been struck down by Vonderhaar several times. The damage has been reduced, the recoil has been increased, the range has been lowered, and then the latest updates, the range has been increased. Like, I don't even know what the hell's going on. I know they're trying to mess up the VMP, but so far, the latest gameplays that I've been posting, I've been beasting it up with the VMP. I've been calling it in, you know, all my kill streaks. I've been, you know, achieving a lot of wins with the VMP, taking down people a lot. Like recently, not a few days ago, I've been called hacker for using the VMP. I'm like, I don't give a shit. This weapon has been nerfed several times, but I can still accomplish a lot. So no matter what people say, I can still achieve a lot with this freaking weapon. I'm telling you, it is a beast of a weapon. It might be my top three of all time. My number one of all time is the AK-74U. My number two is the P90. My number three, I believe a VMP is going to take the cake on that one because it is a beast of a gun. It's an all-around weapon. From long distance, you got to have patience with it, though. But it's still a great weapon overall, man. When it comes to some, when it comes down to short range and quick scopers, this weapon is the best one to use on Black Ops 3. And number one, we got ourselves a very controversial weapon, the Vesper. Now the Vesper, the reason why I picked the number one is because it used to be one of the best weapons in the Black Ops 3 beta back in August. It was, it just had a good amount of distance, the recoil, it had none. And also the damage was super high on this weapon. I was like, wow, you know, this reminds me a lot of my freaking P90. And um, after the release of Black Ops 3, they nerfed the weapon to death. Like literally, the damage is super low now. The recoil is super high. You can't even shoot from long distance. You can barely shoot from medium distance. And also, you know, the damage has been reduced by so much. You can only take out two enemies per mag, which is sad. So, um, the reason why I pick a number one is because I believe there's still hope for this weapon. I think it could be, it could like one time be like updated and pretty much have a little bit more damage or something, and it will become the best weapon out there in the game. But, uh, you know, I only use this weapon when it comes down to short range and small mass because I does have a high amount of rapid fire. So that's why I picked, you know, this weapon as number one and also I have hope for it. So um, it pretty much gets a pass into my number one gun of Black Ops 3. Oh, 